Hello, my name is Franz Sands. Welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. In our last video, I talked you through my three non-negotiables for great counterpunching, the theory behind it. Number one was about having a great jab. Number two was not waiting, was making things happen. And number three was working preset patterns. Today is how we take that theory and put it into practice, specifically around those preset patterns. Before that, if you haven't already, go and download my book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. 64 pages packed full of helpful information, such as the 10 core skills you need to build a great boxing style, all with links out to videos, the five building blocks of punch power, and four steps to building fantastic speed. Okay, there'll be, there's a link down below, there'll be a link at the end of the video as well. Right, let's get on to the lesson. This is about turning you into a practitioner, not a theorist. Look, the world's full of theorists, isn't it? If you've been online long enough, everyone's got a theory about everything. So I want to take you past theory and I want to move you into being a practitioner, someone who does the skills, who learns them. Huge benefit to you whether you're competing or whether you are doing all of this for fitness. Um, have a look at this video. It's not too long. Have a look here now. Right, counter-punching drills. Three rounds, two minutes each round. Um, little point before we start. Every time we initiate one of these drills with a jab or a punch, you can use a feint as well. Don't just fall into the trap of always using a punch. Mix it up, use feints as well. Round number one, this is really about using um, triggers with body movements. So we're going to do four drills in the two minute round, each drill 30 seconds. Be precise. So the first drill involves us doing a layback. So what is a layback? It's simply that back leg bends, upper body stays straight. Use that leg just to bend. We don't do that. Okay. No bending back at the waist. That's not a layback. That's a Bending your waist at the back. Um, so first movement, jab, lay back, jab, jab, lay back, jab. Slow everything down if you need to. Much better to slow it down and get it right. Jab, lay back, jab. Now, it's awkward. I'm using the jab precisely because it is awkward. It's much easier, much more flow, if you go one, two, three. One, two, three. But one, two, three is actually a way of introducing some counter movement. Makes it a bit more awkward, master it, then the jab, lay back, backhand is much better. Much easier. Jab, lay back, jab. Second one then is jab, so that's 30 seconds. Second one is another 30 seconds. Jab, lay back, one, two. Jab, lay back, one, two. Show you from that side as well. Rain's really coming down here now. I'm sure you can hear that. Jab, lay back, one, two, jab, lay back, one, two. So there's the second one. Third one, starting to move up now and use slips. Jab, slip in, jab, jab, slip in, jab, jab, slip in, jab. Show it from that way. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it's all about rotation with that slip. Push off the back leg, hips go round, front leg bends. Great thing is that second jab, one, two, three, can be really powerful because you've rotated. One, two, three. Slow it down, get it right. And then the fourth drill of the round. Jab, slip out, backhand. Jab, Push off the front leg, slip out, backhand. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
and finally that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four separate drills, 30 seconds each inside one round. Round two then. We're moving on to blocks. So we're going to use punches with blocks. Three drills in this round. The first two drills, 30 seconds each. The final drill, one minute. Um, first drill. Jab, block, one, two, three. Jab, block, deal with the response. One, two, three. When you throw in more than one shot, always good to either move forward or move back, depending on what the opponent's doing. It's not really realistic to throw three punches from the same position. You know, it's always good to, to move in or move out. Jab, block, one, two, three. Jab, block, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm finally from that way. Jab, block, one, two, three. There we go. Three straights. Next one. Do a, yeah, we'll do a feint this round. So it's just like you can change these out for any jab or feint. So a feint the backhand, lead hand block, three straight. One, two, three. Feint. Feint. Uh, sorry. Feint with the backhand there. Feint. Lead hand block, that's blocking an incoming straight backhand or a right hand as an orthodox. So one, two, one, two, three. Start with the backhand and drive forward. Feint block, one, two, three. And that side. Feint block, one, two, three. Simple, straightforward. Trigger, defend, attack. Final one, this is nothing elegant about this one. This is like bashing down the, the front door. So we've got a jab, double arm block. Make sure you're looking through your hands to see the opponent. So it's one, two, one, two, three. Jab, block, deal with any incoming shots. One, two, three. From that side, jab, block, one, two, three. Change it so that you can start with the backhand. It's up to you. Jab, block, one, two, three. Nice and simple. That's brute force attack, that one. So there's your second round. Final round, third round. This is all about, we're not really triggering. We're up close, we're blocking and we're smashing in our own responses. Two drills, one minute each. Feet stay in the same location. So, block left side, so we're imagining either a hook coming low, or one coming high. Block, block, each time. Always make sure that when you're using elbow blocks or arm blocks, you get used to watching the punch come in so you can see it and you can you can stop it on, on point. So you imagine we're gonna block this stick with head shots, we're gonna block a hook to the head, and we'll come back with a hook body, uppercut head on the opposite hand. So you've got one, two, three. Good rotation. Do this for one minute. Block two, three. Block two three make sure that uppercut the forearm is vertical when landing if it's like that it's not an uppercut so you do that for one minute block two three and then you do change to the other side so you're there you can go slightly more square if you want because you are up close block two three block two three block two three do that for a minute. So there's three drills, three rounds worth of drills, where you're getting what, nine individual drills across those three rounds. There you go. Okay, so 
nine drills over three rounds, nine separate sequences that you can work. Now look, here's the thing I love about drills. You don't have to be in the middle of a training session to do that stuff. That's seven minutes, three rounds of two minutes, 30 seconds in between each round, rest. Focus, you don't need a big warm up to do that. That's something you can do in and around the house. My theory of kettle time boxing, as an Englishman, I drink lots of tea whenever the kettle's on. I still do it now, even at my doddery old age. I still shadow box in the kitchen like when I was 13, 14, 15. You know, it's just something you, if you build in, the more you do, the better you get. Who, who knew? Um, so practice that. Um, in the next video, we're going to really move on to execution. Um, we're going to take those drills. So practice them now over the next few days. Really work on them as best you can. And in the next video, I'll show you, um, I'll show you those uh, uh, executing at some something like full speed. Certainly for someone um, old and overweight like me. Um, right. If you haven't, there's the link to the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Go and join the thousands of people who've already downloaded. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Cheers.